Hi. In this video tutorial, we will learn how the conditional system in the cost calculator builder is configured and how to use it. The conditional system is available in the pro version of the cost calculator builder plugin. It has a very user-friendly interface, which we can use for setting up the conditions in our calculator for services or products without coding. After adding the elements to the calculator, they will appear in the conditions tab by clicking on the elements you are adding those in the conditional section. To move the elements, simply drag and drop it. The conditional system allows configuring the logical operations for the calculator elements by connecting the main element and dependent element and setting the conditions and actions. There are five options available for conditions that are dynamically available on the main element depending on the type of this element. And there are actions that allow managing the appearance of the dependent element to show, hide or disable it. Also there is a way to set a particular value to the element for range or quantity elements. Or make selected one or more options of the select or multi-select element. So the actions are also dynamic, and the particular actions are available to be applied to the dependent element in accordance with the type of this element. Let's take a closer look at the cases of conditional system usage. Please note that you need to make sure to set option value for each option of the select and multi-select elements like radio, drop-down, checkbox and toggle. These fields should be always filled to make the conditional system work properly. Before applying any action to the dependent element, it is required to add the condition of the main element. Imagine if you need to perform some action on the calculator element if the value of the number field or range field is equal to 5. So it is simple. Just use the condition is equal to. In case if you are using a select element, such as radio, drop-down, checkbox, or toggle as the main element in the condition and need to apply the action when one of the options of this element is selected you need to use the is selected condition. Another useful condition is different than this condition allows performing the action on the dependent element with any value set for the main element except one. Let's disable the quantity element when any of the toggle options is selected except the first one. The condition is inferior to can be applied in case when you need to perform some action on the dependent element when the main element value is less than a certain value. The condition is superior to applies to the action if the main element is equal to or more than a certain value. Action hide is the most common option for hiding an element from the calculator and from the total graph. It is available for every element in the calculator.
Action hide leave in total is the same but displays hidden elements in the total graph. The show action is also one of the most popular options, which is available for all type of elements. For this action you need turn on toggle default hidden in element settings. Action set value allows us to set value manually. This action available for range and quantity elements. Set value and disable allows you to specify a value depending on the main element you have selected. Select option allows you to set values for the checkbox. Toggle. Drop down. Radio elements depending on the condition you selected and drop down with options. Also you can choose select option and disable to prevent elements from changing. Action set date and disable. With this action we can choose a preferred date and disable it. It's accessible only for the date picker element. Set period and disable work the same as set date but allow us to use it in multi-range and date picker with range elements. Unset resets the value to the selected one depending on the main element condition.
Disable action. Simply preventing changes in chosen graphs. It is possible to create conditions bound with and or terms. Let's take an example of making bound conditions. In this case, we have the elements quantity and range. Using and or bound, we will set several actions depending on each condition. Also we can add an extra condition to set different values for more detailed tune-up values of the elements. As you can see range field value now depends on quantity value and changing from 10 to 15 using and or bound. With the help of conditions and actions, you can perform various kinds of manipulations with the calculator. As we said earlier, you can hide, show, fix values for a detailed chain of actions. Specifically, in this example, we will hide date picker element using condition is selected in action hide. Then we will show the range element using the radio button and conditions. For this we proceed to calculator settings. Click edit and turn on default hidden toggle, and with the radio button we ll make it appear. Then through the main range element we will set the is superior to condition in order to show drop down when the value 25 is reached. And condition is inferior to to hide it when range reaches below 24. Next, we continue the chain by binding conditions to toggle. We want to disable or hide elements with help of add condition and choosing conditions and actions. And now, when we select the options we specified, we hide or disable the toggle element switch. We'll be done with that, and you are ready to experiment for your own purposes by trying different conditions and actions for your calculator. And if you have any questions, we are ready to help you at any time. See you in the next video.